Hey everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomai TV and BenTinToys.net. Stand by for a Ben 10 Toy Review. Yeah, so I'm back from the Hong Kong Toy Fair. Playmates Toys was nice enough to give me samples of the second wave of the Ben 10 standard figures. So we're gonna look, I'm gonna, we're gonna just do them all today. Just to get them out, knock them out. And even because I'm, I'm so slow, I hadn't actually opened up some of the, from the first wave, we're gonna finish those off as well. So let's get a close look. Okay, so what you get here, here's your steak fly. You get, you, you got, it's your regular package. He comes in flying zipline, right? Uh, Cartoon, Cartoon Network, Playmates logo, steak fly. Check out the free app it says in the front. Okay, that's not from Playmates Toys, and that's not from Cartoon Network, I don't think. We're gonna check that out another time. I don't wanna spend time on that, okay? And on the back of the package, you get the usual bit. Here's the, here's the first wave. And then here's the second wave down here, right? You get the little bio and the bio of the guy and the bent in origin. You don't need, you don't care about that, right? And I want you to note that on the bottom of the package, it's a stink fly right here, see? So if you're looking in the box, you could just grab stink fly like right away, you would know it was him, right? So here's Dr. Uh, Animo. And you know, there's a guy who used to give me a lot of trouble because I kept pronouncing him Dr. Amino. But that would be good because amino, amino acid are the basic building blocks of life. That's what this guy works with. So why not? He comes with mutated godadactyl. Godadactyl. Is that, that, this guy, right? In Dr. Anemo, right? And here's uh, upgrade with upgraded drone, right? Okay. And it says upgrade, right? Okay, yeah. And then here's overflow. And he comes with water blast. There's his water blast accessories. Overflow, right? And here's Wild Vine. You know, he comes with Battle Vines, you know, a couple of accessories. They all, you know, it's nice. And it's a stink fly! Oh my god, that's a misprint! A misprint. I'm gonna make a fortune if I keep this in the package. Do you think? Do you think? No. Well, and it's a, it's a real mess up because this is one sheet, this is one sheet of cardboard paper. You see that? You know, it's it's one sheet. So they messed up printing the whole thing. They got wild vine here, and then they put steak fly here. Now, if they had said steak fly here, and this was wild vine, then you might have something. I'm thinking this will not be worth a million dollars. Maybe only only five hundred thousand. I'm thinking, but I'm going to open them anyway. Insert vine and Sony says, "Wow, a rare misprint." How about you guys? Do you any of you have the same kind of? Toy? Does it say that when you bought one? Are these in your stores? They're not in stores here. Steve Smythe with Scorpion Stinger. I never opened him, so we're gonna get him. <laughs> Poor Heat Blast. I never opened Heat Blast because I had a big thing planned and I didn't get to because I'm slow. And same with Cannonbolt. I had a big thing planned for Cannonbolt. I didn't do it yet. So we'll just open up Cannonbolt and, and look at him, okay? All right, let's go. So I've got these guys out of the packages. Let's have a look. And what was interesting about looking at all of these guys at one time together, you find that each one has its own style of articulation. Each has their own limitations and capabilities. And of course, they have all kinds of different sizes too. I'll tell you about that. So Steve Smythe with this scorpion stinger, he's about the most complicated character in this assortment. Uh, he's, you know, he not only has this articulated stinger thing, but he has all these parts molded into his, his steampunk style uh, armor overcoat thing. Articulated elbows, although it's hard to get them out. You know, it's hard. He's got the epaulets. These move, these epaulet things move a little bit though. So he can move his arms, his shoulders, and his elbows. A little bit knees and not, not much underneath there, just knees and ankles a little bit, see? So, yeah, it's Steam Smythe. That is an interesting character, sure. Cannonbolt. Cannonbolt doesn't need any accessories because he's a chunky monkey. He's a big boy. And he doesn't, he doesn't move around a lot. Elbows, shoulders, hips, that's about it. But you can kind of turn his feet a little bit, but he, he definitely doesn't fall over. You could put him out in a hurricane. That would be a good experiment. Put him in a hurricane and see if the wind will blow him over. Because he's Cannonbolt. We're going to do a special experiment with Cannonbolt. Maybe early next year. Upgrade with the upgraded drone. Everybody's got drones these days. And upgrade 
He's got one of the guys with spindly feet, and he also can swivel at the hips, so that's nice. His, even though his, 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 he is kind of spindly, the bottoms of his feet are wide, and you can splay his legs out a little bit to make him stand up better. It's a nice looking character, very modern, right? Yeah. Dr. Anemo with the mutated gonadactyl, because <laughs> the Dr. Anemo keeps experimenting. Right? He's another, the, the bad guys have the most interesting outfits, right? He's got this backpack. What does he do with that? You tell me about it. And, and the headphones and the helmet and the eyes, the goggles. Yeah, it's all pretty cool. And he could hold something if he had a gun. He doesn't come with a gun, but he could hold one if you wanted. And the go-to-dactyl go -dactyl guy gets a little base to help him stand up. He blasts with flame blasts. And I've got them on, you know, it's easy to put them on, no big deal. Strangely, this character, I had him out, his plastic is softer than the other, other figures in this series. I'm, I have no idea why. Uh, uh, but I had him out in the sun and he was getting really soft. He didn't melt, which would be weird. Heat blast, how can he melt? But he's very, he's, he's softer than the other guys. It's, it's just hard to understand. Stands up really easy though. Knees, hips. Swivels his head, all that stuff, shoulders, elbows. Yeah, he's a great looking guy. Overflow with water blasts. And it says two, two blasts. That's an S, it's plural. I only got one in my package. I'm pretty sure I didn't lose the other. You guys, if you got this one, let me know in the comments if you also got only one water blast. But it goes and attaches to kind of his elbow, his arm right there, see? And it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Also, you notice know, since he's got these big feet, and he, he he's pretty solid and posing. So I put him in a little bit of a running pose there. See, and yeah, it's a nice looking thing. It's a, one of the beefier, one of the beefy aliens. You got your spindly ones, and you got your beefy aliens. A wild vine with the battle vines, and he is one of the spindly leg aliens. But his joints are pretty tight there, and so he stands up readily, even holding onto the battle vines. See. And, uh, I, you know, it's hard to respect battle vines, but I guess, let me know in the comments if you guys, like, if, if Wild Vine is your favorite. I don't hear much about him. Stink fly with the flying zip line. I'm going to talk about the zip line thing, and it's, I'm going to, we're going to do that. But he's a, he's a spindly leg guy. I put some stick him on his feet to help him stand up, and so I put him in a running post. And his... Wings are the biggest accessory of all these guys. Well, let's try the zip line thing. So I had a problem getting the zip line to stick on a wall. <laughs> Maybe you try on glass. Be careful though, okay? I'm gonna kind of hold it there. All right, all right, it's gonna stay there. And then we're gonna attach a stick fly to the zip line. It's best if his hands are out. He has a little bit of trouble balancing on this, all right? Maybe put his legs up a little higher like that. I don't, yeah, let's try that. Okay, let's go, stake fly. Go down the zip line, you're flying. There he goes, hold it tight, and he, there he goes. Okay, yeah! Now let's see how each of these characters looks on their native planets. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you do, hit that subscribe icon down here in the lower right of the screen. Hit the subscribe icon and number two, use that notification bell, ding ding, and let me know in the comments. Be honest, and I will do my best to give you a shout out. I don't have anything to do today because I'm, ca <clears throat> I'm caught up. So until next time, have a great day.